Greetings, citizens of the New Republic, members of the press, and all others watching this recording. I would first like to, th to start this press conference by saying that it is a pleasure to address to you all the recent events surrounding the Galactic Senate and those of, uh, of urgency of the state of the galaxy at large. We have seen through many obstacles the past year I have been in office, and such things were expected when I was elected. Sadly, I regret to inform you all that, according to a recent report, the body of Vice-Chancellor Anora Balava Fett was discovered this past week amidst the sandy dunes of the Dune Sea of Tatooine. No cause of death has been found, but what we do know is that she had been there since the day after her disappearance over a year ago. On another note, there will be an election held this coming December 4th for the new Vice Chancellor and the two nominated for the position are Senator and Trade Minister Maonagar of Coruscant and Senator Kayla Mina of Tanab. As written in the Constitution of the Galactic Senate of the New Republic, only Senators may run for the Vice-Chancellor or Chancellor positions, though when it comes to voting, the Senators running may vote for themselves with their counting vote. Not to mention the other members of the Senate, those being that of other Senators and also advisors to subsequent planets, are also allowed to place in a vote to the nominated candidates for the position or positions. Secondly, in this address, I would like to now t draw attention to what the Senate and the New Republic have done as action to the recent threats of assassination and also terrorist acts toward the Republic and its representatives. So far, we have heightened security on all Republic worlds and have now instated martial law making sure that all unknown and non-Republic allied or member crafts are kept away from the atmospheres of all Republic worlds to proper clearance that said craft or crafts is in fact a friendly craft to allow within Republic space. I, as your Supreme Chancellor, believe this measure shall lessen the chance of future attacks on Republic worlds to occur. I do though expect our enemies to still attempt such attacks and perhaps other methodology of terrorist acts so that the military personnel so the military personnel and all necessary alert personnel are instructed on how to react if and when a tragedy occurs on their given posts. Response to an attack is where I personally feel our citizens shall walk away from these attacks as unscathed as possible. In conclusion, I would like to thank the efforts of our military personnel such as the Grand Army of the Republic with the 501st and other units whom have been instrumental in keeping the Republic aligned worlds as safe as they can, even in a crisis. I would also like to thank the Grand Fleet of the New Republic as well for keeping the skies as safe from these terrorists as they have over the past year I have already been in office, not to mention our loyal friends of the many Jedi Orders within the New Republic. This struggle against those who, are who see our cause as false, insignificant, bureaucratic, or otherwise shall continue to blindly do so. In that... It only gives those whom truly believe in what the New Republic stands for even more strength to fight against such discrimination. We are not going to break for our enemies, not now, not ever. Allied, we are the strength that none can tear down and force to fall. May the force be with you all from this day to the next, and long live the Republic. <laughs>